So guys, for the first step, you wanna get into this screen. Now to get here, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when your computer turns on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to be saying that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. Now once we're here, there are two things that we can try. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. If you don't see start to prepare in this list, you want to click on see more recovery options. Then it should appear right here. So you want to click on start to prepare. It's now going to start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. Now if that managed to work for you, it should boot you back into Windows and then this should now fix your problem. If that's still not working, then you want to come back into this screen. I'll show you how to do that at the start of the video. Now once we're here, for the second method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. And now once we're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on Enter. And now you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once you complete that scan, we can now resolve this. Now you want to continue to Windows and then this should now fix your problem. 